Next on the list here, quickly move on to this one. I want to speak about this quickly and then move on to the comedy stuff. This is featuring one of the guys from No Jumper called Lush One who got fired live on air. Really embarrassing, I thought, and kind of over the top from Adam 22. But um, since then, he's kind of been flirting with the idea of going back to No Jumper because he kind of gone off, I think he said. And now it looks like he maybe won't be going back because he went on this podcast called So It Ruined Your Day which oddly enough is like a mental health and rap battle podcast, which is a pretty weird mix, but it kind of works. And I guess in the roundabout way he got in his podcast, he kind of, I think, admitted that he may have, um, you know, he may not have been sober for a while um, since because of all the stress happening at No Jump. I don't think so. I'm not too sure. But regardless, anyway, he mentioned something here and which I thought was interesting regarding just his emotional state and everything overall. So, um, I think I just wanted to mention this quickly because I think this might be interesting as a topic to talk about in terms of maybe the people's temperament when they come into content creation. Maybe you have to have a certain thing to kind of make it work. I don't really know. Let's just play the clip and you see what I mean. The whole Flacco situation. And that was really fucked up of me. And I, to this day, feel a lot of guilt and um, shame that I would... You know, Flacco never did anything bad to me. He's a good dude. And I, to this day, I fuck with Flacco. But at that time, like, you know, he was a... He was someone that had... Like, I, I kind of, like, wasn't aware of the fact that I was in the midst of elementary slash junior high school-esque popularity politics that I was leaning into way more than I needed to. And like, you know, everybody, when I got over there, everybody already knew each other. And, you know, I was like the new guy and they had all been fucking with each other for a fat minute. And I was kind of trying to like, yeah, I wanted to like see where I fit into this landscape. And I wasn't talking to my homies as much. I wasn't focusing on the world of battle rap. I was putting, I put all my eggs in this basket and I was like, what could I do to make myself um, as as well liked and relevant and popular over here as possible? And um, you know, I thought like it was confusing because I couldn't tell are these people just coworkers or are they the homies or like how deep is this? But like when you're going to, you know, I'm going to fucking people's kids' birthday parties and we're planning friends givings and you know like i'm meeting everybody's families i'm meeting people's moms and wives and kids and you know like going to people's cribs and i was like damn okay maybe like these are the homies but then certain actions would kind of show me like damn like are these the homies because anytime i'm and then i would just get confused like where's the thin line between content in real life. Like so I wonder is that you're going to have this Coila <laughs> Coila no mercy. So okay, Coila's obviously showing the guy no mercy, but I wanted to point this out by saying that I wonder if there's such a thing of like being too emotion too sensitive, too naive to content generation. Sorry, to content creation. Or like existing in that kind of world because you have to kind of understand i think some people said i remember watching some um uh reaction channel guy i think it was like turkey tom or something saying like how how he's bumped into people youtubers who he kind of speaks about and um there's usually no issues with the cool ones because they get what it is they know that they're people who people watch and they also know that they've got people online who watch what they do and com comment on what they do and sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but it's part of the game they don't take it personally and um, the good ones they don't really get that hung up on it and i think that maybe is a key to being actually good at this thing you kind of have to have this be have a separation between like the the person that you present on the camera and the person that you are as a human and not kind of attach both of them and not be too sensitive and not, you know, have your feelings hurt. Because a part of me thinks Lush, although he's kind of addicted to reading comments and he was getting way too in the deep end with the Reddit and stuff and just generally just, you know, taking everything to heart, 
I think part of it as well came to the idea of like he generally thought those guys in no jumper were his friends and maybe because he was a bit sensitive at the time he was maybe going through some issues himself you're trying to fight because it's I always say it before like especially with men it's really difficult to find friends when you're a guy it's really difficult especially if you don't have actual legit hobbies like you don't play sports um and yeah, you don't have hobbies. Like, it's hard. Like, out of those two things, if you don't play sports or hobbies, and, and also imagine if you're a guy, you don't play sports, you don't have any hobbies, and you don't drink or do drugs, where else are you going to meet other dudes to hang out with? So imagine if you're so newly sober like Lush was, you don't play sports, and you don't have any real hobbies outside of hip-hop and shit, and then you go to No Jumper in, like, your late 40s, and you suddenly meet a group of people who you think are, like, your friends. You know what I mean? Like, because some guys there are your age, some guys are younger, but you connect with this hip hop culture stuff. It could be easy to assume they're your friends and to get comfortable and to start letting your guard down and not kind of treating it as like a workplace and whatnot. And I think that's what he ended up doing and ended up costing him big time because he went through some really embarrassing situations on there, which I think somebody his age shouldn't be putting themselves through. But I think a lot of it was just in his naivete. But some of it also makes me think like maybe some people just shouldn't be doing this type of thing maybe he's just too fragile too emotional too naive too gullible like too good-natured maybe is that such a thing can you be too of a too much of a nice person for the internet for content creation like is that possible maybe that is because i cover so many assholes on this random show that sometimes you forget that there are sometimes some good-hearted people who just get led astray you kind of, you know, are with the wrong people and then it kind of goes left. I'm not really too sure. But anyway, hold your head up, Lush, regardless. Um, hopefully he gets back on the straight and narrow and he kind of finds his way and he does end up getting with people who actually do like him for who he is. You know what I mean? Because he has his issues and stuff, but, you know, he's a decent enough guy, kind of guy, in my opinion.